We have built a system of uh, cameras to monitor the heart and respiratory rates of uh, premature babies uh, simply by filming them uh, inside the incubator. To estimate the heart rate, uh, we can uh, detect uh, the small color changes in the baby's skin, uh, which correspond to the heartbeat. For the breathing rate, we detect the movement of the chest of the baby. At EPFL, we focused on extracting heart rate given videos of the neonates. This has several steps. First, we have to find a region on the forehead in which we're interested. And then we have to compensate for movement of this region. And we have developed a tracker to do this. Then. For this region, we have to identify for each pixel whether it contains skin that we are interested in, or maybe clothing or any other object we don't care about. Once we know which pixels are skin, we can fit this to a color analysis method that is able to then, given the variations of the skin color, extract the heart rate information. Now at the University Hospital in Zurich, we are testing this uh, technology. So eventually this technology could replace the current sensor which has placed on the skin of the baby and cause a lot of discomfort and also a lot of false alarm. The rate of false alarm is, is tremendous. We speak about sort of eight to nine out of ten are false alarms, uh, meaning noise, disturbance, and having a system, if the system is going to work out, sort of to pass by these false alarms is a huge um, advantage and a progress in neonatal medicine.